Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, this is Living in Bosnia and Herzegovina, a channel Living all about... Living in Banja Luka, a village near Ban... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's a channel about us living in a village near, near Banja, Banja Luka, Luka. In the northern Bosnia, Bosnia and, and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. And if you like this sort of content, you like the channel, please give us a thumbs up because thumbs up mean a lot. And if you want to press the notification bell uh, here on YouTube, then, well, you almost probably get told... So you don't miss any video we post. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, in all transparency today, it is Sunday the... I'm following the lead, so we didn't prepare this. You're for, yeah. I'm following David, so this is totally spontaneous. <laughs> this is totally off the cuff. Yeah. Um, right, in all transparency, today is Sunday the 7th of March 2021. It's a really nice day outside. Really, really nice because the sun is shining. Bit chilly though. Yes, and it's very hard to keep in the house when the weather is nice. We always want to go out for meals, but uh, with the current situation with COVID, we actually should not be doing that. No, we can go now out. But we... They make you wear a mask when you eat underneath your chin, which I have no idea what's that for, but uh, it really chokes you up so you can't even chew your, or swallow your food properly. What do you think about yeah, it? Yeah, but if you, that's when we sit in a restaurant. But I think when we sit outside, we don't need it. When we're out in the open, <coughs> maybe yes. we don't. We're, we're going to see because um, we're going to. The subject of today's video is Ladies' Day, day Women's Day, Dan Jenner, correct? Yes. Or day when we get all the presents. Yeah, absolutely. And it's International Women's Day, and that's what we're going to talk about today. A little bit of what Tamara remembers about this uh, happening here some time ago. A little bit of the history of it. And basically, as a man, I'm saying that you guys are cool. Who? Oh, women? Yeah. Yes, you should give us uh, 365 uh, days, days of Days of women. Days of women, not only one. Because we deserve that. We deserve every day to be Osmimat. Okay. What so, do you think, guys? Yeah, do what you do you agree think? with me? Okay, so historically... Okay, we'll start again. When I first came to Bosnia and Herzegovina back in 1998, it was a September... Um, and I just thought this is a pretty cool place. I mean, you know, it was a new job, but it wasn't until 1999. So I've been here six months and I go into work uh, on the 8th of and March. And you got by the way. Uh, yeah, I was... <laughs> my wallet, my plastic melted on that day. Uh, and when I went in... So I basically men in this country uh, for the March, uh, they work their salary for Women's Day because they <laughs> treat their women like they buy lots of presents, but not only to their wives or girlfriends. They have to do it for their grandmothers, their friends, any lady, co-workers, any lady. So know. it's so, it's well known as a broke month for guys. Yeah, they so, spend all their salary. salary so to go back to the story, gifts. so I go into work. As I walk into work, I'm noticing, and I just thought, what's happening? All the ladies are walk, walking around at that time with a red flower. I remember everybody had a red flower. Coronation, what's it called? Um, carnation. C carnation, a, yes. a red Caranthu. carnation. Anyway, I didn't think anything of it till I got to the office. And one of the guys on my team said, boss, where are the flowers and the chocolates? And I said, what flowers and the chocolates? He said, it's Osmi Mart, which means... Women's Day. 8th of March. And you have to do this. So anyway, I, where, let me finish. Let I, me got, I, got ta I got taken out from work by my guys. We went straight into Banja Luka. And I don't know how much I spent to this day. But I was writing a list of all the girls that were on the team. Uh, or the lady officers, because I was with the military. And I tell you what happened after that day. Anyway, so I just spent everything on flowers and chocolate. That sort of like had an impression on me, and it's so cultural. I've done some research and about after it. That day, after that day, I have to tell you, David always had a business trip somewhere else on the 8th of March. He, <laughs> he, he runs away somewhere. Yeah, but, so he doesn't have to spend all over the these, money. Over these past the years, I haven't. Come on, let's be You're fair. You're a shame now. Well, <laughs> ritual public humiliation on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? Um, no, I don't run away. I might have had a few business you, meetings back in the day. A few, few business meetings. But the thing is, if you had a business meeting, I could, because of the um, balance of guys and girls on the team, I always had girls. And I quickly understood from the first year when I went on a business trip, that cost me more. Are you a lesbian? No, I'm not. <laughs> the, it cost me so much more. Do you know why? Because the guy said, well, you didn't get her flowers or anything. Best we stop on the way back for lunch with wine <coughs> and beer, and it just ramps up. Okay, um, before we go any further, what I'm going to show you now uh, on screen are 
what I think, how or how I think things have changed uh, a little bit. People still get flowers, don't they? Yes, they but do. But there are variations. We still celebrate the 8th of March. Yes. There's, there's it's, a big, it's a big thing in this part of the ex, world. Ex socialist country. It's a huge thing. So we have a friend. He's a celebrity chef, Predrag Tosic. He has a Krofner, a donut uh, shop in Banja Luka. And at this time of the year, or now at this time of the year, Tomato. He, he's been selling donuts with flowers, all wrapped up in cellophane and looked really, yes, really nice. Yes, he has like a, uh, like a donut bouquet with the white rose. Yeah. Well, I think it, is or it a red rose, red rose or, 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 or carnation or whatever. Yes, it doesn't matter. Yes. With a really, really whatever can stand like this. Yeah, stand upright. Yes. <laughs> so, and I, I wondered where did he get that idea from? And apparently, somebody came into the shop uh, not so long ago and said, um, "Can you do something with this flower that I want to give to a lady uh, and put it together with donuts?" So, that's it. That's what Predrag's done. So, well done him. If you are watching this at all. Uh, and you are in a, this is an unshamed um, promotion. If you're in Banyaluka uh, at the moment or near Banyaluka and get to Banyaluka, uh, you'll find um, his Crofner shop. I will put an Instagram link below. It's very um, good. And we below. had some uh, American people that visited us and we took them for our Crofner, uh, Predrag Tosic Crofner, and they say that it is better than Crofner in States. That's it's something. It's a compliment. Yes. It's a compliment. But the Krafnas are always fresh. He makes them every day. Whatever he doesn't sell, he gives it away or ditch it. So they're always fresh, fresh. made every day. Okay, so why is, first of all, before we talk about your experiences back in the day in Yugoslavia okay. as was, right, I found some interesting information here. Uh, first of all, it's not uh, a European, it didn't start as a European or communist or socialist thing. No, it started in New York. Yeah, it started in New... Have you been w reading on Wiki? No. All right. Um, I know the story, I'm a woman. Yeah, the Socialist Party of America. And I used to sew. I used to work organized, in a textile company in Canada. They organised the Women's Day in New York City way back in 1909. It wasn't until the year later that in Germany uh, they said that they would have an international socialist women's conference mm -hmm. that they would have every year. Uh, but the first time it was actually observed as an International Women's Day um, was in 1913, and that was in Russia. Now, what I didn't understand was, no, and, and of it course... Was, I think it was because these women in New York, they got her together, they wanted to better rights to work in the textile industry, and uh, that didn't work well. And then the second time, when they raised up against the government and everything, they locked them down in the in the factory and they burned, they, there was a fire and 129 women burned. And since that day, it's celebrated as Osmimat. Well, this says something different. Shall I go on? Go on. Okay, right. And You're... then it spread around the world because women needed, they needed to vote. They didn't have any rights. They wanted to have the same salary as men. They wanted to have the same rights Come and down. everything. Come and, down, you've got them. And even today, did you know guys in England, uh, women and guys, they don't get paid the same not, thing for, for the same job. Guys always get paid more. Why is that? Not in, a, not in every sense, but some. Anyway, let me tell you. <clears throat> in England, uh, most people think it all started in England in 1914 with the suffragette movement. That's not true. It did start before. But what I didn't realise was uh, on the 23rd of February 1917, uh, there was um, a protest march. I have to say February the 23rd because I think in our calendar now where we are, mm -hmm. it's the 8th of March. No, I think they moved it, but never mind. Well, it doesn't matter. It, it happened on the Russian calendar on the 23rd of February, which for our calendar is the 8th of March. Maybe that's when they started the and movement in, and, and, and then they finished it. And in 1917, it. in Petrograd, uh, the ladies went on a uh, demonstration uh, for their rights. Uh, and it was called the Bread and Peace uh, March. Now... This is what Leon Trotsky wrote about the women. Okay, let me see. Trotsky that. and Lenin are the founders of the revolution in 1917, right, for the Soviet Union. 23rd of February was International Women's Day, 8th of March, our calendar, and actions were foreseen. But we didn't imagine that this Women's Day would start the revolution. We had our plans for the revolution, but we didn't have a date. But in the morning, despite sending out orders it was not to happen, 
Textile workers left their work in several factories and sent delegates to ask for the support of the strike, which led to a mass strike. So the women caused a mass strike. It went out onto the streets. Seven days later, it was the end of Tsar Nicholas II. Now, they got their rights in 1917. They were given the vote in 1917 in Soviet Russia. Well, there you go. And a lot of people in the West... I have to say, I think still country, think it's a Western thing. I think in this country, women started to vote in the 1960s, I believe. Not before that. It could be. The day was then accepted and by the, Germany, the socialist think. movement, communist countries like former Yugoslavia, where you were born, adopted that in 1967. Yeah. But the United Nations didn't take it until 1977. So, you know, what when you look shame. at the, the difference what between, shame, between the Eastern world, as we can call it, mm. and the Western world, Everybody in the Western world thinks they did it first, but that is not actually True. Uh, the case. But I like it. I think it's nice that you have it. Except the word Osmi Mark keeps coming up uh, in the week before. Your niece, Victoria, what's happening in Osmi Mart? Your mother, what are we doing for Osmi Mart? You, we'll what will you get me for Osmi Mart? And you yes. have to say that you do yes, ask. Yes, you got spoiled over all those years. All those years. What was yes, it like? What was it like? Osmi Mart should not be only the Osmi Mart. I keep saying women should be respected by the guys and everybody else every day of the year. I, I respect you. you. I know you do, but I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, right. For other people. Uh, like, for example, I know some people, uh, they just don't pay attention to the woman. When, when, there, when there is an Osmi Mart, he takes it for dinner, he does this, he buys presents and everything. The guys should do that at least once a week. <laughs> If they can afford it. If you it, had it your way, it'd be every day. Yes, not Avno. Now listen, you know, back when you were a kid, what do you remember about... Did, did, did the family do it individually, like your uncles and, you know, and your dad with all the ladies in one place, or was it just strictly in the family? So your dad would... I hope your, da your dad did, didn't he? Bring flowers back to you. Yes, mom. he did, but I don't remember much, actually, to be honest. Because it, it was accepted. Yes, but I remember that... Uh, we, I, I did, used to... did you, as a, as a girl in school... Here's a good one. Did the, you know when the first love, you know, like boyfriends and girlfriends and that in high school? Did that happen? Did boys come into the school with flowers to give it to their girls? No. No, no I don't oh, think Oh, they were still no. macho, were yes, they? Yes, as far as I can remember, that we, we didn't do that. But what we did is we collected money. We used to always buy a present for our teacher. But we had a problem. We had a male teacher. But we didn't anyways. So you used to say, on, on, on Ask Me Much, you just give teachers print. Yes. Do you know what we used to do in the West? What? We, we just give them an apple. An apple? An apple for teacher. Yeah, that's an enough for a teacher. For teacher. No, we, we used to collect money and we used to buy presents. And I remember I used to, was, uh, you know, when I was, in a, when I was a kid, I used to make these, uh, how do you say, uh, cards, like uh, anniversary cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to make these Ask Me Much cards, but I used to use the, like a, tiger glue and then I used to use sugar or polenta or I don't know I used to make it from natural especially I like the sugar because it's sparkly and I used to make shapes don't I, I used to make shapes with the um, uh, you know the glue the tiger mm -hmm. glue and then I used to spread the sugar and I leave it and then I you know took the sugar around and I had the flowers and hearts and then I used to write happy osmi mart mother blah 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 the Women's Day, so I Did used you, to do that. Is that because, I, I don't want to pry too personal, but from what you've told me, like, living in Yugoslavia all those years ago, you didn't have a, a craft store then with hundreds and thousands and different no, coloured glitter? No, I don't remember. So that was your that. view of doing glitter, yes, if you like. Yes, I did the glitter with sugar, and uh, I used to draw it, you know, with the coloured pencils, and then some parts I used to put the the glue. I, I might, My mother still might have them somewhere. So if she does, then I will show it to you guys. And then I used to put sugar, or if I used to make mimosa, how do you call that yellow flower? Then I used palenta. I used to draw that flower. I used palenta. Like a daffodil, maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a great flower. Mimosa. Not... I don't know how to say it in English, but yeah, I used to do that. It was quite cool. That was me being creative. Did you? Did you miss but it? But we used to make the cards. We used to never buy the cards because I don't remember having any cards, really some basic ones for birthday and things so we used to make cards for our mothers grandmothers teachers and things like that okay so i have already got you yours things for osmi mart this year yes. you've already got it 
We are going to go out for a lunch in a minute. We're going to have pizza or something, right? Okay, yeah. Something like that. But what did you buy? Because I, I, I don't buy gifts. Why? Because one, I'm not that creative. Two, I seem to always have a memory block. And I always think from presents I got when I was a kid, people used to say, this is nice. And you'd go, ha, ah, thank you very much indeed. But I don't really, and you do, you'd, but I, I don't really need it. No, and I, and I say, yeah, what am I going to do with this? You know, like I used to get encyclopedias. I was never good at school. Only good people at school want encyclopedias. I wanted a train set. You know what I mean? So from that, I, I, I gave you some money. What? Tell everybody, what did you get? Go on, come on, I love it. What did you get with your Osmi Mark present? Uh, every time uh, I ask for money or I ask for something specific because I know David is not very creative when it comes to gifts. So this year I got myself, and he was surprised, I got myself a, I finally find a hair color that I like. How many boxes of hair color did you buy? I bought it for three months, but since How I... How many have, boxes? Since I have a long hair and thick hair, I need three boxes per month, per month coloring. Nine, so, nine so boxes, nine, nine boxes. boxes of hair color for Osmi Mart. Which is the supply for three months. The only reason why I bought it, because it's not always there. So when I bought it, you have to wait for a month until they stock it up because it's uh, from Serbia. It's a very special color and I really like it. And uh, I had problem with, uh, I used to use one hair color for 15 years and then I had some problem with my hair. It started falling off and then I stopped coloring. Then I used henna and I tried to find something more darker than being blonde, sick and tired of being blonde. And then I was searching, searching, and finally I found, and it's perfect. And I bought <laughs> nine. So boxes. I think we should call that hair color no, not chocolate or whatever. We'll call it Osmi Mark color. Yeah, but this is a milk chocolate color. Okay. Which turns out a little bit darker on on my hair, but I love it. So there's a little bit of information about how we've. Uh, well, well, we're going to go for for pizza now. But Osmi Mark today, we're going to have a. I'm not going to have pizza. Well, whatever. Oh, you're going to have steak, aren't you? Or barbecue or something. Or barbecue we'll see, or something. We'll see. But that's what we're going to be doing now. Years ago, it was a case of making cards and, uh, and using sugar and things like that. And before that, it was just, I must probably think it would be a day off under, under the communist and socialist Yes, everyone times. used to run away from work. A little bit of history. I remember my dad getting home early. So that's it. So please stay safe, stay away. And um, we'll catch and you. And get vaccine if you can. We don't have them here yet, but... We're going to be hopefully in April. We'll get. We'll be Sputnik V, won't we? Yeah, I think we'll go for Russian. Russian vaccine. Hey, see the link. Sputnik V. Osmi Mart. What? Women. Sputnik V. That's it. We'll catch you see on the next people. one. On the Bye. next one. Bye.